Welcome my friends, John Weber here again today and you are about to learn very quickly and the most efficient way to build like, know and trust using your personality, using charisma and to really be able to effectively work with people because working with people, whether it's your relationships, whether it's your business or whether it's your personal life or whatever aspect of life, it is always going to affect whenever you have to work with people. And if you've ever been in life before, you have to basically work with people 24 seven. So how the big old question, especially in business, especially in marketing, especially in network marketing, especially in building a relationship of any kind, whether it's personal or more business like, or whether it's just uh, one on one or with a group of people, building like no and trust is the key to every single interaction and to make sure those interactions are successful because like no and trust, as you've discovered for yourself, are how you decide if you're gonna buy from a company. They're how you decide if you are gonna be friends with someone or form a relationship with someone. Or many other things that are in your life, they're all dictated by how much you like, how much you know, and how much you decide to trust that person, place, thing, or idea. In fact, if you're in business of any kind, or you consult, or you're in marketing of any kind, or any kind of business, like, know, and trust is how you make every single sale, whether you realize it or not. Because like, know, and trust decides what someone is going to do with you, how far they're going to go with you in whatever way that may be, and what they're willing to invest with you. So say if it's a relationship, the person, based on how much they like, know, and trust you, may decide whether or not they're going to date you, or whether or not they're going to marry you, or whether or not they're just going to be friends with you. It could also be a business. Some people might just watch your marketing. They might not buy your product. Some people are going to be able to and feel like buying your product because they have some like, know, and trust. And some people, because if you have a lot of trust uh, and a lot of like and knowing them and you have a relationship with that person uh, through business, they will buy from you over and over and over again. And also as well, in short-term circumstances, just with people uh, when you're walking the streets or when you're at an event or something, it can be very useful for networking and building very important relationships. This skill is actually, in fact, one of the ones that I have mastered to become very good at because when I travel places, when I meet new people, I make friends almost immediately with those people. It's easy to do once you know how. And in a way, I'm going to let you know, this is going to be a way that you still be yourself, you're not going to be fake, and you're still going to represent who you are. You're not going to do anything that's strange. You're not going to do anything that you shouldn't do. This is all ethical. It all makes sense. And it all works because it's based upon my own experience, my own experimenting, and actually thousands of others, thought leaders in this area, their own experience and experimenting as well. So number one, number one is very easily, you must look, appear, and sound like someone that person would want to put their like, know, and trust in. So what does that mean? Let's say you were to go to a car dealership, right? You go to this car dealership, there's two of them. And the first one, you notice that the entire building looks like it's in shambles. The, you know, the windows are broken out. The cars are completely rusted out. And it looks like the place has almost been abandoned. And there's one salesperson who almost ignores you. He ignores you, he looks away when you're first coming up to the place and then he finally decides, I guess I'll go talk to these people. And you can tell he's pissed off just to go talk to you guys. So then he walks over and he smells bad. He isn't dressed very nice. He kind of has a he whispers. You can barely hear him. And there's nothing about this place, the guy or anything sounds or looks good. So think about this. How likely are you to buy, purchase, or like anything about this establishment. The, the probability is probably very low. But what if it was like circumstance number two? And in circumstance number two, you walk up to the establishment, the place looks clean, looks like it was just built. All the cars are in great condition. Whether they're old or new, they're in great condition. They look great, the place smells great. It's like fresh air, it's a fresh breeze going on. It's a nice warm day and there are tons of salespeople, about, you know, five, six, walking around. And one sees you, he sees that you're looking for a car, he sees you're interested, and he walks up to you, shakes your hand, gives you a smile, and asks how you're doing. Okay, which place are you more likely to buy from? I think the answer is obvious. 
place or establishment number two. Why is that? It is because people like, know, and trust things that look, sound, and appear and feel like something they can trust, that appear clean, that appear like they're professional, that appear like they have good intentions. All these different things and more contribute to whether or not someone like knows and trusts you. Now, you can attribute this to your business, you can attribute this to how you dress, uh, for relationships, you can attribute this to a whole bunch of different things. But, if you want to build more like and trust, you want to sound, look, appear, and feel like someone who you're trying to be a friend with, have a relationship with, or be in business with, would want to do that thing with. You want to represent that and do your best to represent that. And if you do, that's one of the easiest ways for you to build like, know, and trust like that without even trying and have a great first impression. Now, the second way is matching and mirroring. Now, this usually only works if it's in person, if it's on the phone, or if it's on like a Skype call. And what you want to do is you want to slightly mirror the same actions, the voice tone, uh, how fast the person is talking, uh, how they're using their hands or if they're not, and kind of the physiology of the other person across from you or the person that you're talking to. Because people like and build trust with and really get to know people who are like themselves. They really appreciate seeing people that are like or similar to themselves. Now, when you're with someone or on a Skype call, whatever the circumstances, don't exactly copy them because number one, that'd be copying them. And number two, if you copy them too closely, they may notice. And three, it's not being you. What I'm saying is, you know, maybe you notice they use their hands a little bit more. So you use your hands just a little bit more. Or maybe you notice they talk a little bit slower. So you change your pace just a little bit slower. And what this does is it actually naturally builds like no trust with someone without them realizing it. And it actually happens automatically and naturally without you knowing it in normal conversations. If you noticed a group of guys or a group of gals or wh whatever the case may be, standing in a circle around a fire, whatever the case may be, um, and if they're around each other long enough, you'll end up noticing they all end up uh, in rapport. That's what, that's what doing this does, is it causes you to get in rapport with the people you're talking to, the group or an individual. And you'll notice they're all laughing, they're all enjoying themselves, they're all talking about the same thing, they're all in the same mood. Uh, they're all kind of doing the same things. It's because they have built rapport, they have built like, know, and trust with the people around them because it happens naturally as you talk with people, especially people that you like or that you know already. So again, match and mirror the person, how fast they're talking, the way they're talking, uh, but don't do it exactly. Just, just kind of be similar to what you're noticing the other person doing and it'll actually automatically and naturally build like no and trust and when you do it you'll actually build rapport yourself with the person without, without even trying and you'll forget you were doing it in the first place and it'll just come naturally to you now real quickly I just wanted to say that if you're in a sales process or if you're uh, have customers coming through an online site of yours or a funnel of yours whatever the case may be You'll want your website, your funnels, your ad copy, and this is really any business. You want whatever you are offering. Anything that the customer or the audience or the lead or the prospect can see of yours, just like in a relationship or business uh, or in a uh, friendship. You want them to see, feel, and know, almost know that you are a professional, to know that you know what you're talking about to be confident so they can feel confident in you. You need a site, a funnel, a process, everything that they see to look great, to look appeasing, to look pleasant, and to look clean and crisp. And that will get you more conversion, more sales, and more opt-ins, and so much more. Another great way to build like known trust is to make sure you are focusing on the other person and what they need. Whether this is in your business, this is gonna help you in your business, this is gonna help you in your relationships, this is gonna help you in your friendships. And you focus on what the other person needs and wants, you understand them, you understand what they're looking for, and you can work on how you're gonna give them those things. So if you're, if it's your leads and you have a traffic business, or, or you know someone that needs traffic, or you know someone that needs leads, you can give them or offer them or train them on ways to get leads. If it's a relationship and you know 
because you've asked questions about the person or you just know about them, you've researched them or you've known them for a while that say your spouse, your wife, doesn't like cucumbers. Are you going to buy her cucumbers? No, you're probably going to get her instead maybe her favorite food. It seems silly, uh, same with friendships, but it seems silly, but it works because you have to use what you know. You have to gather information. I really, really think you should do this, whether it's your business, your friends, relationships. And that's usually what the beginning phase is of relationships and friendships, is you usually ask questions, you get to know people. But in business, it's not the same as much as it is is. I mean, if you're, if you're offline, maybe yes, but if you're online doing online marketing, it's not quite the same, but you can show it in your ad copy. You can show it in what you say in your videos. You can show it in what you do and how you follow up with people. That is how you make sure you communicate to them that you know what they want and that you can give it to them. Is you do it in your ad copy, you do it in your follow-up, and you do it in your sales videos and sales letters. If it's a relationship, you do it by acknowledging uh, what they're saying uh, and doing your best to help them get what they're wanting or what they're looking for. Same with friendships. Of course, you want to help out your friends, you do your best to find a way to help them out. And finally, a great way to build like, know, and trust with people is to just show them that you care. This is the best, most effective, easiest and natural way to build like known trust whether it's your business whether it's relationships whether it's friendships is to simply do something to show them uh, whether it's your words whether it's what you do whether it's something you give them something that they want or something that they don't even necessarily want but that you thought of, that they might want or that they could use because this shows them that you've thought of them this shows them that you care and this shows them you actually want the best for them and when people see that they of course, of course, just like if someone did that for you, build, like, know, and trust with you. So make sure that number one, you look, feel, appear, and sound like someone that whoever you're trying to build, like, know, and trust with would like to build, like, know, and trust with. Someone that they'd be interested in. Number two, ask them questions, focus on them, Focus on their needs, focus on their wants. And I'm not saying that you ignore your own wants and your own needs. You want to take care of those as well and find a way to take care of both of them at the same time if you can do so. Thirdly, make sure you, you mirror, make sure you match, make sure you find information that you can work with uh, and research the people, the place, uh, the networking area, whatever the case may be, so you can find out more about the person or people that you are trying to influence or work with. And finally, just be yourself and care and give to people because the more you give them, the more they're going to see that you care about them. I'm not saying, I'm not saying over generous, just give, 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 give nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. You don't want to be annoying. You don't want to be too much, but you do want to be there frequent enough that you always keep their attention. That's the key. Be in front of your prospects, your friends, your relationships, eyes, be in what they see, hear, and feel around them enough that you keep their attention. Sometimes you can go away for a little bit, but then keep their attention again. Keep doing that because they're going to like, know, and trust you more and more over time as you do so. And that, my friends, are just a few ways that you can build like, know, and trust with your audience, with your business, with your prospects, with your leads, with your customers, with your friends, with your relationships, and so on and so forth. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. By the way, if you have any other needs or wants that you want to focus, uh, improve upon, make better in your life, whether it is your relationships, whether it's your finances, whether it's your business, whether you need consulting, whether you want to know how to get more friends, whether you want to know how to improve yourself, whether you have depression and you don't want to be depressed anymore, you have anxiety and you want to feel better about yourself, whatever the case may be, if you want to see more results, if you want to feel, look, appear, and be better in every aspect of your life, or just one, go to johnweberg.com and there will be a course, a development class, a video, something on my website, johnweberg.com, for you to go to to improve that area of life that you so desperately want to make better. Uh, go ahead, go to johnweber.com. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.